All right, y'all. Here we are at the raised beds. And, uh, you know, these tomatoes uh, look beautiful. I mean, so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, and guess what? I'm watering them from above, you know, like everybody in the world said, don't ever do that, you know. Well, I am. And guess what? I've always done it this way. And guess what? I've always grown beautiful tomatoes. Never had a problem with tomatoes at that outside of something with the weather, you know, but as far as this goes, this has always worked out just beautiful for me. Look at these tomatoes. Oh, they look pretty. Oh, yeah. See that right there? Nice, nice. Let's see what these have to offer. These are uh, cherry tomato types. Uh, I think that's Mountain Vineyards right here on the bin. Oh, I forget. I forget. Gold nuggets and yellow pears or something like that. Uh, here's my super dupers. Yeah, there's a tomato hanging right there. Uh, Got spider web all over me. But uh, yeah, I water like this. Ain't got no problem with them. Beautiful, I think. This one's a little bit slower growing, but I took some cuttings off of uh, some of these plants when I went to cut some of them suckers off. They had too many suckers. I don't always get the suckers off, but this at this time they had just too too many and we're going through kind of a mini drought right now so and here's the black crims look how tall they are look at i mean just crazy amount of growth the ones in the in ground they all have less growth but you know what <laughs> they got a pretty good amount of tomatoes on them a set already so wow you know here we go that fun time of year. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 y'all. Now, these are potatoes, and I could probably start harvesting potatoes. I don't know that they need any water. I don't really think so. I put a little bit on the tops of them. Yeah, they they probably need to be harvested soon. I give them maybe uh, into next week. Today's Thursday, April, uh, May fourth. So I just give them a little on the top just to get them a little bit. The peas are all but done. I got a few more to pick. I showed y'all that I picked a few the other day, but uh, I think today might be the last day to pick. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Go get a. I still got onions in here that I haven't harvested yet. They never got tremendously big. But I'm getting ready to pick them anyway. They look all right. I mean, they got onion big, but not monster onion big, like some of those people get. I mean, look at these bread. That's not bad. Not bad. Got. I mean, it's onions. Get a little water on them, not too much though, because they're probably going to come up real soon. I mean, you can't really put too much water to them, but 
I don't even know if they still, if the bulbs are still getting big. I think they are. They kind of look like it. So. Woo, man, it's hot and dry. Like I said, a little bit of a mini drought coming through here right now. See, I still got peas on here. I gotta come and get. And there's some still at the tip tops. So they still gonna produce. But uh it's a it's a lot over with. Yeah, I definitely need to come get these onions. Yeah, see that that pea right there, see the bugs on it? And that pea, that that's some peas already. I'm probably gonna have to come do a little harvest today and Maybe a little harvest tomorrow. And then that's it. See, that, that one's already for seed. I got a bunch of seed for next year off of them. That's why I like to let them go a little bit longer. Look at these bell peppers here. That's those bayonets that I got from horse tool. Those are nice bell peppers, really. I got those seeds from horse tools. I, I got those a few years back. Boy, they still work like champs, too. Those seeds work. Go over here and get the herb garden a little bit. I got, uh, shoot, I might have to use some of this cilantro, even though it's not the best looking cilantro. We were supposed to do a guacamole and I forgot to buy cilantro. Got a lot of tarragon and, uh, it's that, uh, lavender, that southern lavender. That's a nice, neat little addition that my wife found. I always wanted a lavender that would grow in the south. She said she found one, so I, I did that. I think I did a video on that a long time ago. I'm not sure. But here's some uh, dill. There's a volunteer pepper right there. There's some uh, basil over there where it's hitting. That's basil. And then there's some uh, parsley coming up here finally. I don't know how well that'll do, but we'll see. Yeah, everything needs some water, so dry. And the dill. Got an ant hill in there, but that's all right. Ooh, that dill looks pretty. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. That's it for the water. Uh, don't have too much of that I have to do. I just didn't want it to get too, too dry. A little bit here and there goes a long way. Turn off my water. I wanted to show y'all this real quick. I got some, those chocolate beauty bell peppers my wife bought that she wanted me to grow. I've grown them in a couple of them in the raised bed. Look at the peppers on there, will you? Look at the peppers on there. I mean, loaded. Loaded. Here's another one. See that? Whew. Loaded with peppers. I mean, they're keeping up with the tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tomato branch right there is growing over that way. I gotta kind of trellis some of that up. All right, y'all. Just wanted y'all to see a little peek of that. All right.